Dayterx community, welcome to our trade of the week video. The last week we saw digital asset market in which Bitcoin was well ringing from all time high to all time high. The market reputation as well rose and so we held good positions in Bitcoin and in Ethereum. And if we now taking a look deeper on this market, we can easily see something very interesting. And if we taking here a look on the one hour chart, we easily see that we build some support levels and from this support levels onward, then the market rose nearly the whole February in Ethereum. Okay, so if we now scrolling in a little, we can see that this support line is nearly out of sight, and then all in all, we build it an interesting support at around 17020 in Ethereum. We waved up, we went down again, so nearly uh, building a double support, and then the market just went straight. Upwards, and we can see this if I'm um, just giving you this line. So here we had an upswing in Ethereum of around 17 to 18 percent based on your entry, and then something interesting as well happened. Ethereum as well had an all-time high, broke two thousand dollars, and saw a huge, huge sell-off from these levels. So Ethereum went down from these levels to the lowest week on Binance, more than 30% and all in all to the hourly close, uh, a dipper of 29%. So we're having a bottom down here below 1,500 in Ethereum. Ethereum then as well bottomed out again of around 17 or 16 and a half percent, but is now as well struggling. So we're having this MA50 line below as a small support, so to speak, in the one hour chart, but the MA200 and MA100 are super bearish again due to this huge sell off that came along at this week started. So, all in all, what we saw is, and if we're now taking a look on this rise, it seems to be very small compared to this dip. But if I'm taking a look, and this is why I'm telling you this based on the last week, we as well saw some sell offs from this local high to the bottom is of around 8%. So there were good entries um, time by time in this market and this is what makes Ethereum so interesting. So we went into this market as we found good supports and positive trend scenarios. And then as the market broke down, we of course booked profits and as well here already we got stopped out due to as well what you can see over here is that we had here a dip as well of around 11 and a half percent and this of course is triggering all the stops. Bitcoin it goes nearly the same. What is in Bitcoin interesting that we had a support down here what you can see at uh, 46,600 and it nearly held as a support all the time. We had some fights around the support, we then broke it once, but all in all the support we built it here at mid of February still are valid for Bitcoin. Okay, and Last week as well, I can share with you based from this support onwards, Bitcoin built a positive trend line and this trend line as well got touched a few times, but was always bullish bought back. So this as well is quite interesting. A Bitcoin interesting managed to gain more than 25 or exactly 25% build it a next all time high just below 60K and then as well saw this huge sell off where we of course got stopped out of this market, a dip of around 22%. Bitcoin as well bottomed out, now having a little um, fight with the MA50 line, or you can see all in all the MA50 line seems to be like a top on the market and it first needs to go sideways to then may jump over to create a bullish scenario all in all, but this dip as well brought some concerns in the market that the people are not quite feeling good or that bullish anymore, but for a positive and healthy market, this dip was necessary. All in all, how I said, we saw a dip in Bitcoin, a smaller dip, built a support we touched multiple times and saw then a positive rally last week. If you like this video, if you do so, I'd love to comment, like or share this video and we will hear us next time when it comes to weekly trade of the week provided by T-Rox.